Betts gets home. Another sack for Matthew Betts. Welcome to the backfield once again. There again on second down, and they've got him. He is taken down by Matthew Betts. Both Canadians, one from University of Montreal, one from Laval. Absolutely. Second and six, Edmonton 44. Cornelius is taken down. It's Matthew Betts coming in for his first sack of this game. Two hands on the ground. It's a four-point stance, it's called. He comes off the edge, uses his hands. So it's back up across the 45 and a second down and 10 now, Kolaris. Matthew Betts has him. And that's his third sack of the season. Betts is buying into everything he's telling him. He just beat Stanley Bryant. Stanley was laid off the football. Driven down the field a couple of times, but the field goals to show for it. Blitz coming. And do they have yeah, him again? Betts. Matthew Betts again. Betts is going to go inside, Halatic on the outside, and that is number four for the BC Lions defense. Good football. Third down. Betts coming. It isn't this typical of the way this night has gone. Another sack for Matthew Betts. <laughs> Five wide here for Kelly, looks to the right, check oh. back left, now pressure, and he will go down and in the backfield, it's Matthew Betts. After a monster week against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, 90 gets home once again. These two have been around and battled for a long time. This time, it's gonna be Kelly, pressure on, and down he goes. Welcome to the backfield once again. So guess what, he just comes clean off the corner. He plays the run first, just in case. Oh, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty impressive. Three game run, that's, that's pretty impressive. Bajardo in trouble, look who it is! The great season continues as Matthew Betts gets home. Second and 10, final play of the game, and final be sacked by there Betts. It is. His 10th sack of the season, and he waves bye-bye. Stays on that outstanding pace. What a great bull rush, too. Wow. Up losing their 22nd straight at home. Now this is blocked. Loose ball laying there. Lions pick it up and take over inside the 15. Why not go for a block here? Wow, that was so quick. Grace even loaded it up. I mean, he just saw him before that ball. He didn't even block it. Hand it off. Brown's got nowhere to go. Tackle for a loss. Betts was all over him. Second and ten. Dolagala hit, ball loose, picked up by the Riders. Does Matthew Betts get back on the board here? They move him inside. He shoots the gap, working one on one with Logan Furlan. Powell. Again with. Oh, he had some time if he could have stepped up. He tripped up. And he lost five. They held him in check. He'll go back there right now, and is he taken down? Oh, he did get out from their own 38. Here comes Betts. That's what I mean. Ball knocked out. Betts trying to hop on him, still loose. Mark Cordy is eventually there. When we talked to Trey Ford about what he's seeing defensively, he said sometimes the D line is not getting up the field. Drive starts in the BC 49. Horn wanted a shot, now he's going to take off, in trouble, track down and take it down heavily. It was Betts who got there and has been tracking him down. This time he's double teamed. They double team Betts because he was cut loose in the first half. Playing tonight for Shea Patterson. Legala's job still in trouble here, a rough ride. The tackle sometimes, they'll move him outside and he just straight through Furland, and that was a juggernaut-like rush. The goal of combo to the mix here, all important. Second and seven. Uh -oh. Matthew Betts is right there, and the ball is fumbled. Chioti Jahama recovers. It is the 16th sack of the season for Matthew Betts. None bigger than that. Coming around the edge, Calaris unexpectedly, and then bang. Now puts the heat on Hamilton to do the same. Press coverage on Tim White, try to take him away. As Schultz rolling to his right, and it is number 17. Former Laval Rouge Or star. Fights through a couple of blocks, tracks down the quarterback. And he will make Jake Mayer that much better. Matthew Beck out of the sack, but I don't think it's his. BC is down. I think it is Woody Barrett, although they're all pointing at Betts. 
Yeah, I was going to say, these are the ones that drive you nuts. When you're a coach, keep an eye right there.